So these are the two guards from Delhi with James Reckleton in the middle, which was an American photographer. Uh, he visited India in 1903, and those were the typical uh, Indian giants. And in 1963, a Turkish man uncovered an underground city after knocking down a wall in his home, the ancient city called Derinkuyu in the region of Cappadocia, 18 stories deep and could house 20,000 people. Chapels, schools, and stables were found. So human species living underground probably because on the surface it was nuclear war and this was like probably maybe the 1800s or something or 1700s a, a, a hole in the middle of nowhere and uh, in a field and just like that so yeah, you know have like underneath um, systems of caves and all that stuff this is the 114 years uh, mammoth which was recovered from northern Siberia this was uh, published in um, the National Geographic somewhere around the beginning of the 20th century, 19 something, or maybe like late 19th century. Mammoths exist, they're not mythological, they existed, so yeah. Uh, this is Altmarkt in Dresden, Germany, but it was a, it was a different Germany, so this is 1880. Um, with the statue of Germania in the center. This was destroyed, everything was destroyed in 1945. You can actually imagine what was the purpose, amongst other things, of the Great War, of the, great, of the, of the Second and First World War, especially the Second. And of course, those buildings were from a different time where, when Germany uh, was not actually even Germany and the German language did not exist uh, until like 1900 or so. This is before and after photos of the excavations of Ephesus. So now you know, like you see before, you just say, oh, it's just a hill. Well, actually, reality, it's actually man-made. Uh, how many of these you just walk around nature and say, oh, it's just a hill or a mountain, when in actual reality, it was artificially created. Before and after, this is Winnipeg City Hall look at the ugliness of the building afterwards and the beauty of it before and everything before winnipeg uh, the same as with germany and with asia and russia australia so the whole world this is berlin uh 1910 versus 2018 look at how old uh, how ugly 2018 is in comparison with 1910 and this is of course the buried east island maui statue uh devoid of weathering shows detailed carvings and of course how they you know why the heck are they buried in ground uh nobody knows uh i know because somebody put them there right but that changes the history of human race buried retaining wall of the casta tomb in greece uh, built on sculpted marble uh 500 meters long three meters tall and a perfect circle and you can actually see how perfect it is and it's underground right it's like buried under like feet uh, of earth or inches of earth what happened there you go 1918 walker electric uh this truck is believed to be the walker electric so imagine electric truck uh for like proper like you know um uh, working and stuff in 1918 3.5 horsepower why the heck do they have like electric trucks in 1918 why the heck were like they so focused in the 19th century in the beginning of the 20th century on electric and then all of a sudden we went to gas and petrol everything is money for the families who control the world uh chicago 1893 people say they built this in like you know with like poor materials and that just for like an exhibit i think like this in my opinion in my honest opinion this was what was what was left of the previous humanity and then destroyed they just used the affairs just to you know create a new story and history but that, that's that's just me you know chicago is like the one of the major three top three and uh exposed in the world this is chichen uh, itza 1892 and now you can actually see how it was in 1892 so mexico and all the other places in america something happened and there was no humanity that's why they were like that for a long time um dresden in germany again when you look at that you see that it was a different humanity back in the day uh, electric car at a charging station the year is 1919 so 1919 in the middle of nowhere in like a, a cabin uh, and you have like an electric car charging so did they pay any electricity bills? I doubt it. So, you know, free energy every, everywhere you watch. Uh, le first electric cars uh, in uh, Scranton. And this was like in, in the late 19th century, the first street car system in the US built entirely for operation by electric power was at Scranton. Began operation on 30th of November, 1886. The initial run was between central Scranton and Green Ridge section. Everything was electric and you see the humans you can actually understand that they were not the creators of these electric motors they were from before and um, 
course the new families they don't like uh, us to have uh, infinite electricity so you know and this is the electric lights in moscow it's a painting but nevertheless there is a reason right and the painting is from 1802 uh, coronation of alexander the first it's a painting by fyodor alexeyev so again 1802 and it had electricity everywhere uh, that's the thing the romans uh, excavations in rome started in the 19th century people have blamed me that's why in some comments i don't like them they said when i was like actually making uh, making a video saying that the empire the roman empire is all fake as the as the way they teach us look at that, that this is italy this is rome in 1899 they were digging everything out why because there was no humanity until i mean italy did not exist actually so there was like a something happened in the 1700s 1800s and then the the new humans who came they just were digging everything out this would not be happening in the 19th century if rome would have been inhabited and people would just live there for like like they said right like the the roman empire has fallen in the sixth century and and people continue their lives well rome was covered in dirt so you know the whole thing with like the, the reset and everything else but people don't wish to understand this is something i actually um probably gonna watch uh, uh, so be afterwards so uh, com comparison with iraq and canada and the melted buildings and uh, you know everything that we see in nature is actually not natural but it's melted stuff uh, with technology but that's um uh make a video about that afterwards the oldest picture of germany in berlin 1857 you see this and people just just assume oh this was built by the people of the 16 17 1800s no this was actually for, from a previous humanity and this uh, transportation is not um like you see the buildings and you see this primitive transportation you actually imagine this humanity are not the creators of these huge buildings uh gendarmen marked in berlin and again, they did not speak German in Germany until 1900 when they made the first dictionary and they imposed German. So there were there were states and it was different, just fascinating. Giant broken bell pictured from the 1850s. Again, again, who created this? And you can actually see these human beings that were not created. Look at that gigantic form of this stuff and uh, different times. It's just, you need industry, you need proper manpower, you need factories, you need, you need lots of stuff. So a different style giants on the streets of european cities in the 18th century uh, this is a painting of the same place and uh, a normal human being afterwards so you can actually see that the size of the previous humans was a lot more bigger they were like double our size these humans so these are like the, the like the most like common to our humanity humans of course we had like giants after before and i'm going to show you lots of giants that were discovered and covered by the smithsonian the great wall of china um again this is like the great wall of china but these dots here are the only touristic places so people they're always shown these like the this this wall in like the brochures and tourism so they're only shown like this you know the dots here look at the size of the wall so the actual wall itself the big majority like 90 percent is like this which is very pathetic right it's not like even touristic but of course the the chinese made this section so that's what people go to visit you know in the end tourism is just like another way of hypocrisy and this is again how they change history so how to start the fake of a century as you can see here this on the left side it means 890 and they added that's in roman letters they added an m to make it 1890 so those 1000 years and um, of course these buildings so which means that the big majority of places that uh, are from the 19th century they're not from the 19th century they're from the, the 9th century which means that it's 890 years from what from an event which some people call the birth of jesus christ but we don't know if that's real if that's actually how it happened or stuff like that this is again something that was used by the mongols and other people uh, i don't see it as a soldier helmet i see it as of course i see it as a helmet for like uh, army use but it looks more like an antenna metal with metal for like wireless communication and stuff so again what kind of technology they had and everything was wireless using the ether from the atmosphere and stuff this is of course artistic but 
I just like you not know, to show the whole thing with the buried buildings and how what we see on the surface is just a tiny part of what is actually happening in the reality of things. That's awesome stuff. Kansas City in 1860. Everything was full of dirt and the buildings were covered and they were actually digging everything out because something happened and the new humanity, the new, the new human race was just like baffled and amazed. This is the L'Ascenseur, the lift, uh, the Notre Dame, the La Garde, uh, Marseille and... Um, yeah, again, you can. I, mean, I don't. I don't care if you say that it was built by our humanity or not, but that's why it is. And I, in all honesty, I see this as technology from the previous human race. Um, and then we have uh, the Manjarabat Fort, Karnataka. Of course, we can. We could actually make a channel only with the star forts everywhere in the world so all the countries have the same type of star forts which means that it was a it was a one empire at some point in the whole world this is the menakshi sundareshvara temple which is not actually a temple it's it's in indian in 1890 so it's probably like some kind of power station or something um this is a moving a 700 sorry a 7600 ton 80 apartment building on wheels in communist Romania just before the system uh, collapsed, the communist collapse. So not just in Romania, but also in Russia and other countries, they had the same technology. They had the same technology. They, would, they could just move buildings uh, on like wheels, just like that, snap buildings 7600 tons imagine the type of like technology that has been erased uh some temple in india as well look at the like the amount of dirt and um, and uh, so what happened how did it came uh, come to be actually be covered in so many layers of dirt so something happened in the world there was no humanity and then the new humans they just like um uh, you know, took away all the earth and stuff. Obelisk and mud flood evidence in front of Massachusetts State House, Boston. This is the year 1812. Again, lots of earth and stuff. Uh, Oriental Hotel in New Zealand in 1864. Again, lots of dirt, lots of like, uh, as if like uh, New Zealand back in, I mean, imagine 1864, people were still digging the buildings out and they were just, they were living with this for a long time. Uh, Palace for Volks, uh, Volksvleit, Amsterdam, uh, the Palace for People's Entertainment, which was built in 1864 and uh, in the center of Amsterdam, inspired by the Crystal Palace in London. Again, this one and the Crystal Palace, probably from the previous humanity, burned down in 1929, I, I guess. you know, A parking garage in Detroit in the States. Again, it's not a parking garage. It was something else before, and that's the type of like... Uh, you know, utility that our humanity gives to these places. Rambla del Mar de Plata, Argentine, uh, built in 1913 and demolished in 1940. Yeah, right. You don't demolish. Look at the, like, if you look at the picture, like, in the horizon, look at the size of this thing. Don't tell me that in Argentina, you know, Argentina is like, literally, uh, several years ago, they celebrated the 200, and, you know, the bicentennial. So, a country as young as Argentina with lots of immigrants from Italy and stuff, you don't tell me that they built this in 1913 and they demolished it 27 years later. No. This was there from the previous humanity and as you can see, it was the same humanity that we had in Europe and Russia and Australia and Asia and China and all that stuff. Uh, again, uh, uh, this is like called the A1 Nasla rock, which is a laser cut in the middle of nowhere in the Arabian desert in Saudi Arabia. Again, a laser cut. Who cut this in the middle of the desert and left it there? Um, Sea serpents, the whole mythology with like monsters of the sea, as you can see here at this uh, Balilosaurus. So these are like dinosaurs. These are like, these are like the, the proper dinosaurs. And when you look at it, what is the, you know, the first thing that comes to your mind? And then we have this like uh, sea serpent stuff. This is like uh, the cartographers drew on 17th century and before maps. So we have this in some deserts, which means that they were like left there because of a cataclysm. And then you now you understand why in some of the ancient maps, for example, in these like in the 16th century, we see uh, big serpents attacking uh, ships because these beings existed in a time with our humanity as well and not mythological but just like proper dinosaurs and probably they were destroyed afterwards uh, but that's fascinating uh, soil accumulation in ancient sardis in turkey famous excavation in 1911 look at the size of those pillars and how everything was like uh, covered uh, steam powered elevator 
uh, Muyaki Apartments in St. Petersburg. This is at the beginning of the 20th century, 1902, 1903, steam powered, so free energy and everything with steam. So imagine steam, obviously like steampunk and stuff, the movies that we see with steampunk, those are actually based on reality. Tesla coil games in the 17th century, 1650 in Nuremberg. Nuremberg actually has also like that thing on the sky with like the UFOs, like the the you know the uh, fighting amongst themselves with the technology so you can see here this is electromagnetism and lasers and stuff and this is from 1650 so everything we know about the previous humanity there was no such thing as like medieval ages there was no such thing as like primitive stuff again the a bigger picture of the amphitheater at magnesia in this case uh, you see this before they excavated it and you just say oh it's just like nature hill and stuff no it's actually a man-made structure how many of these structures we have in the world the crowley lake stone columns in california people say oh it's uh, the erosion of wind and water whatever if that's if that makes you happier then i see artificial um building or structure which was petrified with melted technology and all that stuff uh, the frog rock near boston uh, again, it looks exactly like a frog. So you tell me if it's just nature or it was like a giant frog petrified. This is the ruins of Chicago after the so-called fire of 1871. You know what? I show you this uh, and if I don't tell you where it is, you're going to say, oh, this is like uh, what happened. Like the Germans or the Russians or the Americans, they bombarded some stuff because it looks like a bombarding, right? It looks like a, a man-made stuff. I see this for the first time and I say, okay, this is man-made bombs falling on the city. But no. Uh, people say it, oh, it's, it's the fire of Chicago of 1871. Yeah, right. Well, uh, you're welcome to believe what you wish. The Sphinx and the Great Pyramid buried a uh, photo of 1858. 1858, and everything was buried in this. And people like in the middle of nowhere, they're just sitting, not doing anything. So again, something happened in the world and then the new human race. That's why it was all, all the stuff about the famous Egyptian explorers and stuff in the 19th century. And uh, that's why we have the Indiana Jones movies. Everybody was like so amazed. Why? Because our humanity came like a new humanity and they discovered, literally discovered all the stuff that was buried. Uh, the Veiled Christ, 1753 marble sculpture by Giuseppe San Martino in the Capella San Severo in Naples and people actually say lots of legends about these things because they look so real you know everybody has a theory definitely you know this is made with technology not not with like a man like a hand sculpture but who am I to say something different thoughts on the Naka cave in Thailand serpent petrified serpent uh, I mean the picture speaks for them for itself I don't even know why people have such a hard time in uh, in uh... oh great so yeah, I was like, uh, sometimes, I don't know why this happens. This was a serpent as well. Okay, sometimes, I'm sorry. Uh, I think the picture was corrupted. The Volkshalle, uh, the unbuilt Nazi pantheon, uh, 290 meters high, 2050 meters diameter dome. Um, you can actually fit the dome of St. Peter's Basilica inside of it. Uh, this wave rock in Haydn, Western Australia, they say, oh, this is nature. No, this is actually was made by a huge machine uh, from a previous humanity that was used to, like I told you in previous videos, to excavate materials. And this is not na nature made. This is like man made with a machine. Um, and then our humanity just arrives and we call it like that. Wi-Fi. This is what we call ancient Wi-Fi. So you see all this? This is ancient Wi-Fi, so wireless technology between the power stations, and then of course today, this is in Asia, of course, people say, oh, this is like for religious purposes, no. Just the same thing happens with the cathedrals and churches in the Western society, in the Eastern societies, the same stuff, just a, a, a bit of different like uh, uh, modeling and stuff, uh, like different style. And that's it, and start from the beginning. So these are like some of the pictures I, I hope that you are gonna ask questions and change your reality and allow you to uh, you know, see things differently. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.